Now, before anyone asks, the kittens are sleeping. And they had a busy time with me in the front room. We had their toys all out. We were playing. They have a little playpen, and that's where they're at right now, cuddled up asleep. And they are just adorable and wonderful and well-loved, as you can tell. Okay, so I wanted to continue on with uh, the July 5th Woman's World so we can get to the new Woman's World magazine. Natural ways to feel great. Morning habits that boost your heart health. Wouldn't it be great if you could protect your heart disease uh, without making massive changes to your life? You can. These morning tricks keep help keep your ticker stronger and arteries clear, cutting heart disease risk by 75%, and they only take minutes. Stretch out of bed, wiggle your toes, scrunch your shoulders, straighten your, the covers, fluff the pillows, starting each day by lounging in bed for five minutes while you loosen up stiff muscles lessens the odds of developing heart disease by 45%. That's the word from the British scientists who say that gentle morning stretches activate a branch of nerves, the parasympathetic nervous system that keeps arteries 25% more relaxed, reducing blood pressure up by 14 points. Now you can relax by may opening a window. If you're like us, as soon as your feet hit the floor, it's go, go, go until dinner. Yet a study in the environmental research suggests starting each day by gazing outside for 10 minutes. Whether you sip your morning joe or smile at the antics of a busy squirrel reduces the risk of heart disease by as much as 30%. Study co-author Andy Jones, Ph.D., says a daily dose of nature reduces your production of heart-aging stress hormone cortisol. And then start with a reset. Do you hit the snooze button once, twice, or even three times? At least 60% of us do. Here's a happier way to start your day. Reset your alarm for 20 minutes later so you get that extra blissful slumber without those annoying wake-ups. That simple tweak cuts the risk of heart disease up to 35%, suggests research in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. Explains the study co-author Jim Leo, Ph.D. Deep, uninterrupted sleep slows down the aging of your heart and its arteries. Trade the OJ for palm juice. Now, sipping four ounces of pomegranate juice daily helps block the plaque buildup, keeping blood vessels 35% more flexible. And the University of Iowa suggests study that, that pairing the juice with breakfast can curb heart disease by 75%. A morning meal switches on genes that lower the production of artery clog and LDL cholesterol, while pomegranate's phenophol stop the LDL any LDLs that are formed from sticking to the artery walls. Brenda Kearns. Dodge colds and viruses. Now it's the most glorious season of the year. The last thing you want to do is feel under the weather. The great news is the a few unexpected tricks fend off colds and viruses including COVID-19 to help you keep healthy all summer. Now while you're out and about wear your sunglasses. Slipping on those shades make you up to 82% less likely to catch an airborne infection. Then if you skip the specs, a new study in the JAMA ophthalmology found turns out a membrane that covers the front of the eye, the conjunctiva, is one of the top ways sick causing microbes, including COVID, enter the body. Sunglasses, though, prevent your, from rubbing your eyes and transferring germs. Plus, they physically block airborne particles. Overcast day, regular eyeglasses work just as well. While driving, crack down your window. Letting a breeze flow through that car for 60 seconds every 15 minutes while driving with others. Or simply leaving windows cracked a fourth of an inch cuts the risk of infection by up to 70%. According to Britain's National Health Service, as the breeze whips through the car, it zips lingering microbes out of the enclosed space. Tip, open the window on the opposite side of the car from where each person is sitting rather than the one right beside them. Brown University researcher Kenny Brewer, Ph.D., found that the techniques create the most effective airflow pattern for reducing virus particles in the air. When at home, wear your slippers. As weird as it sounds, wearing slippers or socks when the air conditioning is cranked up noticeably lessens your risk of catching a summer cold or virus. Scientists at the Common Cold Center in the UK suspect that when your feet feel chilly, the body focuses energy on warming them up rather than fighting off the invading microbes. K.E. Kluznik is the author. Bye-bye hot weather brain fog. An instant fix you can't think clearly. Lift your heads and square up your shoulders. German researchers say a sudden shift to the great posture, whether sitting or standing, fires up the brain function, boosting word recall and memory in 60 seconds. 
Ah, the sun. We love basking in the cheery rays and spending time outdoors, but the tiredness and the brain fog that creep up in our body battles to stay cool on hot, humid days. Not so much. Thankfully, experts say that simple strategies help you enjoy every sunny day, feeling clear-headed and energized. Pull on a ball cap. Good news. That hat you put on to shield your face from the sunburn protects your brain, too. That's the word from the Greek researchers who found that UV rays made people's scalp uncomfortably warm. It disrupted nerve functions in their brain, making them feel foggy and sluggish. The study author Lars Nerbo, who's a PhD, explains that just cooling your scalp by donning a hat or relaxing under an umbrella sidesteps that problem altogether. Upgrade your H2O. Now squeeze fresh lemon juice into a glass of water for a refreshing zing. Doing so lowers your risk of dehydration and brain fog more effectively than sipping plain water. Women's health expert Michelle Sofo Cook, PhD, says that fruit acid speeds water absorption in small intestine. The bonus, the citrus scents up focus by 50% in two minutes. Turn on the internal AC. Now longer, sunnier days confuse your body internal clock. This prevents a nighttime drop in your core temperature essential for deep rejuvenating sleep and the next day sharpness. Thankfully, the University of Connecticut investigators say a simple bedtime breathing technique can cool you down and help you drift off to a dreamland in as little much as 10 minutes. To do, after stretching out in bed, form your lips into an O. Stretch out your tongue and curl it into a U. Inhale slowly through your mouth, focusing on the cooling sensation of the air moving along your tongue. Then close your mouth and exhale slowly through your nose and repeat until you feel drowsy. The author, Brenda Kearns. Okay, we're moving forward. Well, the fourth has already come and gone, so I'm not going to read that article now, so that's going to help us out. And I hope you picked up the magazine, and if not, I'm sorry, but life has just been super busy lately. Okay. Ask America's Ultimate Experts. Help me take a great road trip. More than two-thirds of travelers plan to hit the road for summer vacations, and here are pros shared ways to make yours the most memorable of adventure. Map out your route. Enjoy slow travel? travel? Well, just head to roadtrippers.com or roadsideamerica.com to discover unique points of interest along your route. I like to choose the end point, then backtrack or think of fun ways to get there, reveals expert Stephanie Pogusi. We wanted to visit Mount Rushmore, for example, so we planned to stop at Indiana Dunes in Sioux Falls and then the Badlands, three great scenic stops. Let yourself enjoy the art of slow travel and the beauty of changing landscape. Secure your ride. The camping trend continues to grow, declares Pugalusi, who says that if you're interested in re renting an RV, and consider the RVShare.com or Outdoorsy.com. Owners will often teach you how to operate the RV and share res helpful resources. And check out campendinium.com. That's C-A-M-P-E-N-D is in David, I-U-M.com to find an RV park. Looking to pitch a tent? Well, find sites at the dyrt.com or hipcamp.com. Slash cost. Now you can save on gas and grub. To set a gas budget, visit AAA's fuel cost calculator, says expert Pauline Frommer. Plug in where you're going along with your car's make, model, and year, and it'll estimate how much lowest or how much you'll need to spend. Find the lowest prices on the road with a Gas Buddy app, and then your car isn't the only thing that needs fuel. The RoadFood.com app features the best non-chain places to eat like clam shacks and barbecue huts that only locals would know about. Stay for less. We don't usually think of cities like New York or Chicago as road trip destinations, but with business travel so off, hotel prices are down about $100 per night, reveals Frommer. And because people abandoned hotels during the pandemic, Airbnbs are now more expensive than hotels so you're likely to get a good deal at a hotel with anonymities. We found that Booking.com tends to have the best hotel uh, prices. See the sights. Take the beautiful byways. For the first time since 2009, the Federal Highway Administration has named the most scenic byways, says Frommer. You can take the Rhode Island's Revolutionary Heritage Byway around the Bristol in just a day. 
on the West Coast, consider the Cascade Loop in Washington. It has in such a variety, including orchards and rocky beaches. For more information, go to www.f like Frank, h like Hunter, w like Water, a like Apple, dot, and then dot dot gov backslash byways to discover parks. National parks like Yosemite are so crowded. 2021 is the year to visit Unsung Heroes, urges expert Becky Lomax. One of my favorites is Theodore Roosevelt Park in North Dakota. I felt like I was in Yellowstone with the bison and the wild horses, she says. And in Arizona, the Petrified Forest Park has gorgeous layers of blue mesa. Visiting the more than one park, consider a federal recreation land pass, which is $80, at nps.gov which grants access to 423 sites and is valid for one year or for the life of the folks over 65. Let your interests guide you and you can't make a wrong turn. Now the expert panel was Stephanie Pugalusi, co-author of best-selling Where Should We Camp Next and See You at Campground is head of the content for roadtrippers.com. Pauline Frommer, co-president of Frommer Media, is the author of best-selling Frommer's Easy Guide to New York City and co-host of Travel Show. Becky Lomax is the author of multiple travel guides, including Moon USA National Parks, the complete guide to all 62 parks at beckylomax.com. Okay. Well, again, we've got a lot of things I marked as if I was going to be able to share them with you on the 4th, and I apologize that I wasn't able to. But I hope you pick up this magazine because it's been an amazing magazine. Okay, here we go. Your organized home lifts summer stains fast. Whether your favorite shirt suffered a wine spill or your grandkids' shorts took a beating at the park, the best stain erasers are already in your pantry. To banish wine spills, you'd use salt. If someone spills red wine or fruit punch on clothing or patio cushions, a dash of salt will instantly absorb the liquid before it permanently stains. Just pour liberally onto the area and let it set for at least five minutes. Then shake or scrape off the residue. The stain still visible will dab with a spot of little hydrogen peroxide, which lifts any pigments or tannies left behind. It may take a little while, but that stain will disappear, assures Leslie Reichert, author of The Joy of Green Cleaning, Rinse and Repeat Until the Stain is History. Say goodbye to that barbecue stain with dish soap. Now, the same soap that dislodges stuck-on food from the pots and pans works just as well getting barbecue or pizza sauce off clothing. Thanks to its grease-cutting power, says Reichert, just turn the garment inside out and flush with cold water to blast that stain from back to front and add a few drops of dishwashing liquid. Gently working it in with your fingers and then rinse and throw it in the wash and all done. Remove greasy oopsies with a bit of baking soda. Now you're enjoying a long overdue family cookout when splat burger grease drips right off your pla plate and onto your clothing. Not to worry, just cover the area with a bit of baking soda, advises Kathleen Tanakas, founder of Ecologic, that's ecologic.com. You'll notice a chemical reaction, such as the spot turning dark, and as the baking soda absorbs the stain, let it set for a few minutes, then shake off any remaining powder and launder as usual. Outsmarts sweat marks with aspirin paste. Now, pes perspiration stains on your white tees, don't sweat it. Just crush three aspirin tablets into a bowl. Add enough water to make a paste, advises Joey Green from WackyUses.com, author of The Cleaning Magic. The salicylic acid in the aspirin looses up the oils and the antiperspirant residue that turns that fabric yellow, lightening its set in stains while preventing new ones. Spread the paste on the stains and let it sit overnight. In the morning, rinse with hot water and the area should look whiter and brighter. Lift grass streaks with rubbing alcohol. Now that same plant pigment that gives your lawn its vibrant color, the chlorophyll, locks into the fibers with a pigment dye, which is what makes the grass stain so hard to remove. The secret weapon to releasing the chlorophyll's hold while rubbing alcohol, which dissolves pigments, say green. Now simply soak a sponge and saturate the spot until the green is gone and then wash. Okay. They have a cute uh, cartoon here. We have uh, a mouse standing at the beginning of the maze and two mice coming into the maze. It says, sorry that took so long, I just moved in. Okay. 
circle of kindness. I think that we all need a moment to be remember to be kind. This is where readers are going to share a little reminder of how much goodness there is in this world. Okay. It's a good article, but I so long. I'm just not in the mood to read that much tonight. I'm sorry. So, sorry. Read the article. It's good. You'll love it, but I, it's, it's just long for me tonight. Uh, moment for you. There are you are so many kinds of great. Thank you. are only got a few good qualities. Scroll down. The list keeps going on. There is so much to admire in you and appreciate about you and so many reasons to like and love you. You're someone people thank their lucky stars for just because you're you. Okay, five minute romance. Mance, we're going to read that because why it only takes five minutes for this person to fall back in love, in love, or out of love, or somewhere in love. So let's read this uh, wonderful little story here. Christine Gris. Gravazzo, spelt G-R-E-I-F-Z-U, provided us this story. A blast from the past. When her ex-boyfriend shows up at her family's 4th of July celebration, Haley is blindsided by the reunion and the fireworks in her heart. Well, he's back in town, Haley. My older sister Jenna looked at me expectantly as she tilted her head toward the gate leading into the backyard. Busily arranging the tray of cupcakes I had prepared for Jenna's 4th of July picnic, I didn't have a clue who she was referring to. Who? Santa Claus? I snorted. Jenna flashed at me and pointed a smile better than Santa, she whispered. Turning me in the direction of her gaze, my breath caught, for there, striding across the lawn with a large container in his hands, was my ex-boyfriend. It had been almost seven years since I'd seen him, but it was definitely Ryan. Except present-day Ryan had filled out considerably since he joined the Army. His shirt accentuated the broad expanse of his chest and the muscled arms, and I realized that his boy-next-door good looks had morphed into the straight-up handsome. "'Is this some kind of setup? I hissed at Jenna and as I broke out into a sweat. "'Oh, no!' she grinned, waving her ex ex exuberantly at him. "'Yoo-hoo, Ryan! Over here!' she called. "'Welcome home!' Around me, my parents, aunts, and cousins smiled, but none of them budged. Yep, this was definitely a setup. I gulped down an enormous breath as he approached, inhaling his freshly showered scent, lemon, and mint just like in old days. Even though it was an afternoon of Independence Day, I felt the sensation of firecrack shooting off and firecracker shooting off inside me. Haley, Ryan said. His eyes were gleaming as his face lit up. I was hoping you'd be here. Jenna whisked the tub of pasta salad from Ryan's hands and headed toward the house, mumbling about serving a spoon. The other party-goers eased away from a tide receding out to sea. There were just the two of us, except for twenty family members trying to pretend they weren't interested in this reunion. "'Are you home or on leave?' I croaked. "'Home for good, actually,' Ryan, warm brown eyes softened. "'I was just honorably dis. I was just honorably discharged, and I came back to look for a job. Here, here in this town, I stammered as my mind whirled with memories of days after graduation, fitting across my vision. Back then, I imagined Ryan and I getting married, and he shocked me a month later by announcing that he, the Army had offered him the best opportunity for a future. Before I knew it, he was off to basic training, and I'd been going beyond, I went on to become a nurse and a wife, and now a divorcee. Did Ryan have a similar story? Or, I realized with dread, a wife of his own? Suddenly his voice interrupted my rev revere. Home is the best place for me, he said. I've already gotten two job offers. Congratulations, I said with my heart gall galloping. Will your family be joining you, Mom and Dad? He looked puzzled. They still live in town? Well, oh, well, I meant, well, I didn't know. A spark of understanding flashed in his eyes. Uh, no, I never got married. Guess I've been holding out for someone special. The way he said that, quote, someone special, end quote, made my stomach lurch. I'm divorced. I held his gaze. It's been hard, I know. His eyes filled with concern. I was so wor sorry to hear about it, but I wondered if you and I could maybe... Before he could finish, my father appeared, thrusting a beer into Ryan's hand. Glad to see you back, he said. You taking Haley to the fireworks tonight? Thank you, sir. Ryan tilted his head and stared at me. That was my plan, but I've gotten around, haven't gotten around to asking her just yet. Heat flowed into my cheeks as he gazed into my eyes expectantly. I'd love to. 
My father clapped Ryan on the back. Good man, he said, retreating back to join the relatives gathered in the yard, hooting as they raised a triumphant fist. Ryan grinned, his sparkling eyes locking into mine as he moved closer. Look, Haley, I know it's out of the blue, but ever since we broke up, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I wanted to try again, that is, if you're interested. My answer was all but a smile. I could muster for my fluttering heart. I can't believe you're actually here, asking me to get back together. He reached for my hand. What do they call it? A blast from the past? What's old is new, right? I smiled, and suddenly our future seemed as bright as dancing fireworks. And that's the end of the five-minute romance, so we don't know if they actually got married, had a wonderful life, or did just carry on. <clears throat> okay, well, we can go ahead and do the horoscope, because it's good until Saturday, July 10th. So, let's hit this thing up by Marissa Brown. Cancer, June 21st through July 22nd. On the 5th, try new activity with a loved one. Getting out of your comfort zone together bolsters your bonds. Now, on the 9th, you'll have the green light to set out powerful intentions. Tune into that heart. You're going to know how to proceed. Your lucky days are July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers are 1, 2, and 11. If you're a sexy Leo, such as moi, uh, your birthday falls from July 23rd through August 22nd. It may be a tough to gain clarity in a situation with relatives on the 6th. Take a step back before making any decisions. Then rest can lead to an exciting epiphany about a long-term goal on the 8th. Let your imagination run wild. Your lucky days are July 6th, 7th, and 8th. Your lucky numbers, 3, 11, and 12. If you're a Virgo, that's August 23rd through September 22nd. On the 7th, communications with a co-worker, particularly around a project, could be confusing. Allow yourself time to gain clarity. Then on the 8th, dive into a team effort with friends. Collaboration sets up for a win. Your lucky days, July 4th, 5th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers, 7, 10, and 11. Now, if you're a Libra, and that's September 23rd through October 22nd. You may be overwhelmed by emotions boiling to the surface on the 4th. Share them in a measured way to expedite healing. Come the 9th, set long-term attentions. You can be true to your heart and ambitious too. Your lucky days will be July 6th, 7th, and 8th. Your lucky numbers 1, 8, and 11. If you're a Scorpio, that's October 23rd through November 21st. Don't be afraid to broaden your horizons on the 5th. Take a leap of faith. You could be surprised by the result. Then hone in on your skill around the 7th. Researching ways to do this, think like an online class, can be fruitful. Now, your lucky days will be July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers will be 7, 9, and 18. If you're a Sagittarius, which is November 22nd through December 21st, you're going to be inspired to connect with a loved one in a unique way on the 6th. Cooking together or starting your own book club could feel satisfying. And on the 9th, speaking your truth can feel like a major breakthrough. Go for it! Your lucky days are July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers, 6, 8, and 17. If you're a Capricorn, that's December 22nd through January 19th. Let go of your concrete plan while socializing on the 5th. Spontaneity rules the day and brings rewards. Then dive into an ambitious project on the 8th. You have vision, the game plan to make it a success. Your lucky days are July 4th, 5th, and 9th. Your lucky numbers, 5, 7, and 16. If you're an Aquarius, January 20th through February 18th, you may struggle to gain clarity on a money-related question on the 7th. Checking in with a trusted advisor could be your best bet, but come the 9th, set an intention related to wellness. Simple tweaks can make a difference. Now your lucky days are July 6th, 7th, and 8th. Your lucky numbers are 2, 5, and 6. If you're a Pisces, February 19th through March 20th, you're going to be feeling especially artistic on the 6th. Take advantage by pitching a passion project. You'll win applause on the 7th. Prioritizing downtime feels empowering. Owning the fact that you deserve to relax with a sets a sweet tone. Your lucky days, July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers, 3, 5, and 14. Now, if you're an Aries, March 21st through April 19th, shake up a sweet family routine on the 4th. Trying a new walking path or picnicking spot makes for memories. On the 6th, reflect on ways to feather your nest. Now is a wonderful time to dream and plan a redecoration project. Your lucky days, July 6th, 7th, and 8th. Your lucky numbers, 2, 4, and 9. A Taurus, which is April 20th through May 20th, on the 5th, brainstorm with friends about a wish that you want to come true. Give yourself the space to explore, and on the 8th, connecting with co-workers toward a shared goal can feel exhilarating. Dive in. Your lucky days, July 4th, 5th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers, 1, 2, and 3. 
If you're a Gemini, May 21st through June 20th, have a heart-to-heart on the 6th, opening up about deep feelings, sets the stage for understanding, and around the 9th, set a powerful new goal related to money-making. Taking steps forward can lead you to a win. Your lucky days, July 6th, 7th, and 8th. Okay, and it looks like I have one more thing here. You deserve good things. Okay. You have blessings big and small in your life. Dreams come true and love and success and so many more kinds of happiness too. You'll live them all, including joys that you've hoped and prayed for and ones you've never expected because there's no limit to the blessings a future like yours can hold. And that can, is all of this one for July 5th, 2021, Woman's World. Thank you for joining me and... I may try to get the next Woman's World because I don't want to fall behind again like we did on this one. And we're making such good time. And you know me, it's all about making good time. Now, speaking of that, I'll just say on a side note, today, on my, after I got done mowing, I was like, okay, here's what we got to do. We got to go to Aldi's. We got to get this stuff for the house. And I said, then we got to go over to uh, oh, uh, Goodwill. And what I've been getting at Goodwill right now is baby blankets for the cats because I have a little playpen for them and at night time when they go to bed I don't like them not to have something to, not to cuddle up with so of course I put little blankets in their cage so that they can cuddle up with and go to sleep rather quickly and also um, I uh, got some things for my mom's upcoming birthday which hers is in September September the 6th so I got some puzzles there today too but sh she'll never know she never watches my videos um, then we went to County Market, got some things there, but I still ended up forgetting two of my items on my list. Do you ever do that? I bet you do. Anyway, stay tuned. Gonna try and get one more magazine in on you.